Hello everybody, my name is Wilchara, and this is Zombie Cure Lab, a base building zombie game that'll be hitting Steam and Early Access this week. And I know what you're thinking, ooh, base building zombie game, that's original. But, in this game, we're not trying to kill the zombies, we're trying to cure them. We're trying to restore some humanity to them, so that they can help us build our base. It's currently a mystery how it happened, but one tragic day we were overrun by zombies. Anyone bitten by a zombie turned into one. Their ranks grew endlessly. They proved impervious to any attacks, and thus, in what felt like an instant, civilization fell. Oh, and I should mention, the developers did give me a key to this game, so thank you very much for that. But just want to be transparent there. Uh, but in the remote, re yeah, but in the remote regions of northern Canada, yay, Canada! There exists moose, moose labs, yay, moose! In this underground facility, a group of scientists are busy researching a cure. These scientists were largely spared from the horrors of the zombie apocalypse, so they chose to fight back with their greatest weapon, science. They have made the first steps in developing a cure for the zombie virus. Now it's time for some perilous field work. The scientists of Moose Lab have gathered their bravest members. Your mission is to build a laboratory, defend it from zombie attacks, capture zombies, treat them, help them regain their humanity. It's time to cure the world. All right, let's go. Um, zombie curing tutorial, probably? Probably start with the tutorial. I have not played at all. <laughs> In this lab, you'll learn how to play the game. All right, let's do it. All right, here is the roadmap. As well, it's a roadmap's an interesting loading screen. I kind of wish more people would do that. All right, so zombie. Oh, a humby. So a humby is a zombie that's in the process of becoming human. I like that humbies. Looks like it takes like five steps or one, two, three, four steps. Our world has unfortunately been overrun by mindless undead zombies. Civilization has fallen, but a small team of plucky Canadian scientists, go Canada, are trying to cure the zombie virus. The goal of your expedition is to cure the zombies in this area. You'll have to build a functional lab and defend it from nightly zombie attacks. So they come at night. Good to know. With time, you'll be able to turn zombies into human zombie hybrids, which we call humbies and ultimately back to fully cured humans. Curing Humbies back to humans takes several rounds of treatment. Any zombie you heal into a Humby will join your workforce. Nice. You can see your objectives in the top left corner of the screen. Fulfill these objectives to learn how the game works. Got it. All right, so we move around. We zoom in and out. All the way to the bird's eye. Rotate with E and Q. Oh, can we put it on pause? We can press space to pause on pause. That's it. It's all okay. Um, all right. Tutorial harvesting resources. You need resources to construct further rooms and objects. Your total stored resources are displayed at the bottom of the screen. It's a lot of different resources. So, I mean, we got it looks like ooh, vegetables and meat, wood, stone, iron. Circuits or chips, that uh, looks like maybe research or science, berries, it's either sulfur maybe, or like grain, looks like copper ore, seeds, both could might be seeds, and no, that's not important I guess. First construct a resource camp and a hauling post to gather and refill resources. Open the build menu in the bottom left, go to the tab color production, select the resource camp, can I do this now? So we'll select the resource camp. Um, wait, so build menu in the bottom left. One of these is build. Hit B for build. Select the resource camp to open the info box. You can specify the resources you want to harvest with the camp. Got it. All right, so B, okay, so this was build. Okay, it just had a different icon. Okay, that was the icon it showed. So, Resource camp, so production, resource camp, and a hauling post. Cost 10 wood. So do we put this outside of our wall or inside our wall? <laughs> Let's put it inside the wall for now. Well, that looks like a, like a, uh, no, it's like a, you say it looked like a look, like a watching post, aired post, but in reality, it looks like a, like a satellite cell or tower or whatever all right so let's put it on pause while we 
think about this. So there's our resource camp. And assuming the hauling post, you probably want it to be close. Right? All right. So assuming they're going to come out and build this, let's speed up time. Yeah, so they're grabbing the wood. We got like, how many people? Like 10 people? All right, so we should have put this. So what's this symbol mean? Does that mean we can't do it because we can't get out there? Is what I'm thinking. So it's a good thing that we put um, <laughs> it inside, right? So are they currently? Okay, so he's they're hauling. Oh, they got wild vegetables. So they're hauling wild vegetables. They're cutting down old utility pole. All right, so the resource camp. We want wood. Okay, so we don't want to turn off wood. Okay, so that's not seeds. It's ice packs. That's fertilizer, metal, chemicals, electronics, vegetables, glowberry. Okay. So we got enough glow berries. They're working on vegetables. They're working on wood. We can speed up time a little bit here. So we probably need to make like some kind of gate, right, to get out here to to clean up, uh, not clean up, to harvest those resources. We'll likely need to make a gate. It looks like, but I'm assuming that will be explained in the tutorial. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. I do that sometimes. So, yeah, so what does the hauling post do exactly? Okay. Tutorial, worker assignment. Production objects need at least one worker to function. You can set which jobs, um, which jobs the assigned workers will do by clicking on the corresponding icons under the header worker assignment. Workers assigned to production objects will do their job automatically. Good. You can also specify the shifts for every assigned worker, day or night or both. Okay, so where is the worker tab? Repair, salvage, priority, let's build, build and access maybe down here. Worker overview. Okay, so we got, oh wow, we have a lot of people. So their job is main storage, day and night shift, hauling post, hauling post, main storage, resource camp, resource camp. So you don't have a job. How do we assign you a job? I feel like I'm not in the right screen here. It's on me. All right, so assign more workers to the resource camp. Can we do that from here? Okay, we do that from here, it looks like. So we got three people. How do we assign two new ones? Well, that's what we need to do. We need to figure this out. Day shift, night shift, any worker. Okay, so, well, we don't want any worker. I guess, does that work though? Okay, so I'm more workers to resource camp, so that worked. I'm just trying to figure out, okay, right click is not it. How to assign a specific person for this job. Change the job category, cat ah. change the job categories of workers at resource camp one to pick up only. All of them? No, two of them. No, so we turn off. Yes, there we go. And then we got to assign, we got to unassign workers from hauling post. So I assume like that. Yep. And like that. Change the shift of workers at main storage one to day shift only. That should do it. Or we got to do it individually, it looks like. Or just two of them. Okay, so they're day shift only. Okay, so that's how you do that. I'm just trying to figure out how do you... Any worker, day and night. But what if we wanted a specific worker? Worker, maybe from here? Uh, movement speed, carrying capacity, harvesting mount, abilities, 
Look for your assignment, no assignment. And maybe it comes up later. Maybe I just don't have that ability right now. In which case, I should probably just let the tutorial do its thing. All right, building rooms. To replenish the needs of your humans, you'll need to build a kitchen with a dining table and a bedroom with some beds and a couch. Select the kitchen tab from the build menu and choose the build room tool. Click and drag to draw a kitchen of the desired size. I'm assuming it'll tell me. Add a door and the dining table to the room. Building a bedroom works the same way. Don't forget to add beds and a couch. So multiple beds, one couch. To further customize the shape of room, use the tools merge, merge rooms, subtract rooms, and divide rooms. You can find them in the build menu. You can always change the type of room by selecting another type in the info box. Okay, but be careful. Objects that are placed in a room with the wrong type won't function. So building um, general. So you got production, defense, kitchen, bedroom. So we do kitchen. And does it tell us? So yes, yeah. so kitchen 10 by 10. Wants. Um, we do this though. We do it like this. Do I, do I want it right against the wall though? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> All right, so there's a kitchen. We need to build a dining table. All right, that should be good. So they're going to build walls. Okay, so what are you folks doing? Why don't you? Why don't you work harder? <laughs> oh, well, it's fine. We'll eventually put them all to work, I'm sure. So basically, we're getting the symbol on these because it's within range of my resource camp, but my people can't get out there because of the wall, right? Which makes sense. We don't really want them out there dying. All right, so what's this symbol for? No materials, maybe? But we're continuing to cut down trees, right? So we'll get to the materials eventually. Now the question is, is somebody going to come cut down this tree, this glowberry bush, to allow this kitchen to, to happen? I'm hoping. Build a door. We need a door on these rooms? Probably, right? <laughs> so where do we want to put, where do we want to put the bedroom? Do we want to put it next to the kitchen? See? Like here, so that you can go right from the bedroom to the kitchen. And like, can the wall function as both? You know what I mean? Like, so could I do bedroom, seven by 10 bedroom, right? So like that. No, it still wants to make the second wall. You can see it, right? And I mean, that's fine, I guess. But I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to put a uh, door between them. I'm thinking probably not. Oh, crap. Did that not take? No, it didn't take. It didn't hit the check mark. That's me. All right, so how many beds do we want? It just says to make five. So let's make, make five beds. One, two, three, four, and one couch for the TV. Got to have a TV. They need some kind of entertainment. All right, so the kitchen is done. And we're going to need probably a door to get into the bedroom. Probably be a good idea. Just a thought. Wild and crazy thought. <laughs> if they were actually able to get into the bedroom, probably be good. All right, so what time of day is it? It's 5 o'clock, so the zombies are coming soon. I probably should have done the bedroom first, right? So that they had a place to sleep. And this kitchen is way bigger than it needs to be. Should I put another dining table in here? Maybe. Meat cultivator. I think that's for later. All right, yeah, let's put another dining table in here. Oh, wait, what's this symbol mean? Wonder. 
All right, so looks like that's done. Oh, we build oh, our couch. Our couch is waiting for materials. As is our dining table. That's what that means, obviously. Is it just wood, I wonder? Or is there something else they're waiting for? Probably just wood. I mean, I guess I can check the build cost. Yeah, it's just 100 wood. So, just playing the waiting game. But we got beds. We got the dining room. All is right with the world. Um, any worker. Okay, so the reason why that any worker thing wasn't really working for him is because I had it paused. I had it paused. It, it actually assigned somebody. All right, so that is done. Tutorial research. By going to the research board right here, in spending research, you can unlock more and better objects. Research is generated by scientists working at research desks in the science room. I'm going to assume we need to build a science room. Each new tier opens up more research possibilities. Many objects have one or more upgrades you can research. Nice. Build a research desk by selecting the science room tab in the build menu. Got it. So science room tab, science room. Um, build a 10 by 10 science room. Nightfall, no zombies, no zombies tonight because it's the first night I assume is why. And then we're gonna need, a, oh, I did it again. I, you gotta remember, Luch, you gotta hit the checkbox or your rooms don't actually take. There. How many times am I gonna make that mistake? Door right there. Treatment chamber, no. Research desk, yes. There. Research bellow breezer. What is a bellow breezer? We just play the waiting game for a little while longer. So are they going to go to sleep? It's 12.30 at night. Can I assign people to a bed? No. Well, I mean, we don't have enough beds. So that would probably be a bad idea <laughs> anyway. Like, you guys can go to sleep. Since you're not actually doing anything. Right? Like, that would make sense to me. What do I know? I'm not a scientist. Or a zombie. So I wonder if there's going to be zombies on night two. Probably. So how big is this map? Now this is the tutorial map, I'm assuming. So, oh, what is this? Okay, so that's our tunnel in and out. Is this where the zombies come from, I wonder? Or do they just come from a random direction? Oh, I can't get this lined up. Okay, there. Eh. There. You can use, if you hold the mouse wheel, you can also rotate. All right, so, oh, we need three research desks. Need three of these. So let's get two more in. We have we have the materials for one. Need wood for the other. But luckily we have people cutting down trees constantly, right? That's all good. But eventually, like this research camp has a range, right? So we'll have to build another research camp over here at some point, just so that we can cut down all this stuff. It's so we're at 9, 10 of 50. People are working hard. Okay, so it's morning. Okay, so some people did actually sleep. Or some people are actually sleeping. That's good. Nighty night. <laughs> all right, so the, we got all three research desks. We're waiting for research points. And then a bellow breezer. Fence gates. Um... Basic lab. No, that's not it. What tabs it in, I wonder. Snow cannon. Snowball shooter. Guard armory. Calming station. Bench press. <laughs> Leg press. Food. Veggie planner. Production. There it is. Bevel breezer. A slow and crude method of freezing water to create ice packs. Okay. We need 50 research for that, which we are almost at. 
We are two away. One away. And we got it. Fellow Breezer. Beautiful. All right, tutorial defense. You lose the game. Oh, no. If all your workers are turned into zombies or if your main storage building is destroyed. Okay. A fence provides basic protection for your lab. Zombies must first destroy it before they can get inside. Okay. You'll also need to build gates so that workers can go in and out. Zombies like to attack gates first. Use this to your advantage. Since we don't want them to destroy the zombies, we'll just freeze them into an ice block. You can do this by constructing various cold weapons. Cold weapons need ice packs as ammunition. That's why we need ice packs. And an operator to function properly. You can get ice packs by scavenging old structures in the area or by producing them with a bellow breezer. Okay. You can lock down your lab by clicking the lockdown button in the lower right. Right here. Workers will flee immediately and remain in areas that can't be reached by hostile characters. Your workers will only do jobs you can complete within the safe areas. Good to know. You can get a visualization of safe and unsafe areas by clicking on the so safe areas button. Don't forget to lift the lock down when the danger has passed. Got it. All right, so we need to build some gates. Build gate one. Build gates one, what? Where would gates be? General? No. Product defense, probably. <laughs> Makes sense. All right, so put our gate here so that we can our resource people can go out and get that stuff and bellow breezer it's a mobile shooter bellow breezer in production probably yeah um so let's put that right there sure need to build a snowball shooter but we will get the gate and the bellow breezer first there's no reason to rush right you know what? I'm going to build another production camp thing. Another resource camp up here. And a hauling post along with it. That way, maybe some of these people will actually get to work. <laughs> right? All right, so we got the gate. So people are out here. Dilapidated radio tower going down. Bellow Breezer is done. We don't have anybody working there. You got two people, any worker, enough workers. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> because now we don't have enough workers for the bellow breezer. So let's take two people off that. Okay, so now we have two people on the bellow breezer. But we're going to need a snowball shooter and we're going to need somebody to man the snowball shooter. So you want this near your gate, right? Protect it. Because it, it said they attack gates first, right? So makes it seem like we need power or do we just need ammo? Yeah, so well, we'll set it up anyway. Build it with resources resources <laughs> we are making ice packs here right yes so we need we need somebody to come take out um so there you are strictly taking out okay so being filled, we still have power issues, though, but I'm assuming it'll it'll tell me how to deal with the power issues here soon. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm kind of regretting where I put these to some degree, right? But, I mean, this is in the middle. You kind of have to put them. Yeah. Anyway, I think it'll be fine once we figure out what's going on with the power. So we just need old... Viola Wilden, come pick up some and bring them over. Where is Viola Wilden? <laughs> Where are you at? What are you doing? You're just standing there. Maybe she's waiting. Hmm. What is she waiting for? Her job is to take them out. 
See what she does here eventually. There's three of 60. Four of 60. So there is. We need four more over here. So why doesn't she take them? Viola, you're going to have to have words here if you don't <laughs> do what you're supposed to do. Okay, there she goes. Let's see. Wait, but took him to the resource camp. Oh, there's like all kinds over here. Okay. Some objects need electricity to function, such as <laughs> the snowball shooter. You can produce electricity by building different kinds of objects like generators, wind turbines, or solar panels. Construct power poles to connect your power producing objects to those that need electricity. You can have multiple power grids. Your main storage already produces uh, electricity with some solar panels. It also has a battery and some power poles to build your first grid. Okay. Connect snowball shooter to the power grid. Power, electricity, power pole. All right, so how far out can we go? There works. And then we'll be right there. Should do it. Should be connected. I'll also want to build a gate up here for this resource camp. All right, tutorial. Prepare for zombie treatment. Those treated go through three different stages of Humby development. Each Humby level has its own characteristics. Progressing to the next phase of treatment requires you to research and build the corresponding treatment chamber. Got it. But I think Humby treatment, zombie treatment, whatever you want to call it, We'll be in the next episode. That's going to be all for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Come back tomorrow for more Zombie Cure Lab. Be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.